Before I start this video, I want to say something. Everyone has a voice, you have a voice, and it matters. If everyone used their voice in times like these, maybe just maybe it would help improve things. When you sit there in silence, it helps nothing. You can donate at the official George Floyd Memorial Fund, the Minnesota Frida Fund, Reclaim the Block, and Black Visions Collective. Like Martin Luther Jr. King said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I post beauty, fashion, and some tips on this vid every Tuesday and Friday. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a pretty serious topic. I'm kind of off of my niche, but it's something that has to be discussed and I didn't feel comfortable posting my regular content as a black influencer um, without saying something about this. Um, I asked some people on a YouTube group, shout out to women of YouTube, um, their opinions on the Black Lives Matter situation. Um, I wanted everyone's opinion, whether they're black, um, white, um, people of color, it doesn't matter. I wanted everyone's opinion and I wanted their honest opinion of what is going on. I also asked some close friends and I'm going to be reading their opinions and giving you my opinion. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Please, please, please do not forget to donate to all of the related funds. I will be linking them in the description box. Um, if I can, I will also try to link them in the iCard. Um, please donate, help in any way you can, even if it's just by sharing. Um, and yeah. Okay, I'm going to start this video off with a statement by my best friend. Um, I asked for his opinion because he is in the U.S. right now and I feel like his opinion was really needed as he is right in the middle of the mess as a black man in America. He wrote me <laughs> kind of a lengthy paragraph but it's worth three. In 2015, Meek Mill released a freestyle called Cream in which he said, the revolution shall be televised. We gotta get killed on camera for us to come alive. One year later, Kendrick Lamar performed at the Grammys in shackles and chains. Both trying to raise awareness on the most overlooked issue in our country, both performances were met with disgust and outrage. Retired school teacher Jane Elliott, in a lecture, asked a room of white people to stand if they would like to be treated as blacks are in the US. No one stood. She then pointed out, therefore, we all know there is a problem and choose to ignore it. Black people in power have tried to use their platforms to draw the world's attention to this problem. Former President Barack Obama tried to give his best to give underprivileged youth a fighting chance in this industry. Sports stars worldwide, including LeBron, Serena, Cristiano Ronaldo, all lend their voices in raising awareness to this issue, yet we are still here. Former NBA All-Star Bill Russell said in an interview, you ask my parents for a time to fix the issue. Now you're asking me for a time? You ask my children for a time too? How much time do you need? This was in the 60s. 60 years later, we are still here with the same issues. Breonna Taylor was one of the last innocent African Americans to lose her life by hands of the police. An honest healthcare worker was shot 17 times while asleep by police during a raid and her husband arrested for trying to stop them from killing an innocent young lady. How many more must die before this issue can be addressed? How much more blood must be shed? When will we be able to walk with each other in peace? As former NBA star Dwayne Wade said, justice will not be served until those unaffected are just as outraged as those who are. This is not to say all whites or all cops are bad. No, I have some great white friends. However, the few bad apples spoil the bunch, and those who choose to turn a blind eye are just as guilty. This has to stop. Why are police drawing guns on black folks for not using a turn signal? Black lives matter. All lives matter. We can no longer ignore these issues. Something must change. Now, that was his opinion on the matter, and I have to agree. Um, we have suffered since slave days. It's not like if it happened, it stopped, and now it's happening again. It never stopped, and 
unless we actually go and take action it will never stop just want to mention that i had over 73 posts to go through and i'm so happy and i'm so thankful to everyone who contributed i unfortunately could not fit everyone into the video but i really tried my best we are going to start off with the post from the facebook group that i posted in i mostly got feedback from people of other races which i actually kind of wanted to see what their reactions are to this um I apologize if I pronounce some of your names wrong. I'm trying my best, <laughs> but I really am thankful for your opinions. Let's go. This is from Brecken. I am a white 18 year old. I think that the situation is being handled horribly, not by the protesters, but by our government, even by some police. They need to speak out and make a change, not fight back with pepper spray and rubber bullets. I totally agree with this. Um, it's funny, I was telling someone yesterday, President Trump ordered tear gas attacks and rubber bullets attacks on a peaceful protest outside of the White House just so he could go outside for a photo opportunity. We should be allowed to protest, especially if you're being peaceful and to be fought back with pepper spray and rubber bullets is just adding t fuel to the fire and just adding more stuff to the problem. So thank you for your opinion on this. I really love that. Next we have Jennifer and I felt really sad reading hers because something happened in it um, and it was really sad to me that people have this mindset. Um, and I really respect her for putting this out there. It looks like I didn't get the whole screenshot, but I got majority of it. So let's start. Well, I told my white friends yesterday my two cents about them being more outraged by the riots and damage to Target than they are outraged about black people being murdered or four times more likely to die during childbirth or any other stats that show oppression is still alive. And well, I just got this text from my best friend saying after our talk, she can't be my friend right now. And this is in quotations. I feel it's only fair to express to you that agreeing to disagree isn't enough for me to move on after yesterday's conversation. And that I need to take a step back from this friendship for a minute after the things that were said. I love you and you will always be my sister and my best friend, but I can't pretend like everything is okay. Um, and that is where I stop in terms of the screenshot because I thought I got the whole thing. I'm upset now. Anyways, but it's kind of sad that someone would stop being your friend because you have an opinion. Everyone's opinions are valid. Um, whether that person's opinion is different from yours, this is your best friend. Jennifer, we are here for you the same way you were here for us. And I thank you so much for advocating and sharing with your white friends your opinions and all the statistics. Thank you. Okay, now we have an opinion from Kaylee. Um, she said, the writing on vandalism needs to stop ASAP. This isn't even about George Floyd anymore. Soon enough, if things keep going like they are, we'll have a martial law. Plus, these people that are rioting and doing vandalism have a right to be punished and charged. They are the ones who need to be stopped. Not all cops are bad. I could keep going on and on about this, but I'll leave it at that. Thank you for being honest about your opinion and not putting a cover on just because you saw a black person ask for some opinions on this matter and not just sugarcoating it. Being honest, I am totally on and off about the whole vandalism thing, the whole looting thing. Pretty on the fence about it. I don't agree with it, but I understand. Um, I agree with this statement. This isn't even about George Floyd anymore. A lot of people are letting go the main point of protesting. A lot, a lot of people, and I'm not gonna lie, some people are protesting and it's not even for George Floyd anymore. And that's the honest truth. 
but thank you for being honest i really do i really do i'm not sugarcoating it <laughs> next we have dana or dana i don't know how you pronounce it but she said caucasian 31 year old lesbian female married to a mexican woman here my thoughts are that the way these horrific acts keep happening are a reason for uproar and making a scene about and i think the way our government is handling this the murder, the protests, the curfews, etc., is taking us back in time to the early signs of fascism that started the Holocaust. See how many lines we can check off based on this poster that was displayed in the Holocaust Museum in DC. We're in a dark and dangerous situation that seems to be beyond control. And I am just going to show the picture that she sent with the early signs of fascism. If I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. My tongue is not working with me today. Um, and from this list, how many things can you check off? Because I can check off a few. Tell me down in the comment section below. <laughs> we need to have a discussion about this. Thank you for your contribution to this. And thank you for sharing this um, photo with me. Um, it opened my eyes to some more stuff that I didn't notice. Next we have Caitlin and she said, another young woman, Tia Beauty is her channel name, posted her video on this and it is really powerful. I shared it on my personal Facebook because I think all my friends, especially my white friends, need to hear it. If you are comfortable and feel safe doing so, I would post it. We need to hear your voices. I watched Tia's video. Um, it was powerful she had a lot of things to say she had a lot of good things to say a lot of good um points um and it was really raw and emotional and i really like that and i'm going to link that in the i card and in the description box because i feel like you all should watch it too um let black voices be heard please next we have samantha she said she is white and from the uk I think it's disgusting how people of color are treated. I wish more of the beautiful, peaceful protests would be covered by the news. I also don't condone riots and vandalism, but I understand. People are frustrated. Black lives matter, and I hope that one day they don't have to face the hardship that they do. Um, the phrase that really stood out for me from what she said was, I understand. And that is all we want. We don't need we don't need people of other races to agree with the writing and the vandalism we just want you to understand we want you to understand that we are fed up we are pissed off we're enraged and i really appreciate her saying that she understands and i thank you samantha for sharing your opinion on this whole topic and speaking your voice okay now we are going to take a break from some of the facebook posts and hear what some black young ladies have to say about the current situation my friend started off um by saying i should include the infamous quote the child who is not embraced slash raised by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth and i want to hear what everyone's thoughts on that statement is um what do you interpret from that message because everyone is not going to interpret the same thing um and then continue to ask them i asked how they felt about people including martin luther king in this situation because a lot of people are saying that look at martin luther king he started peaceful protest and he got his word across now let me ask you something before we continue. What happened in those protests five minutes later? What happened to Martin Luther King? Did racism continue? When you answer all those questions, you still have that same mindset that um, peaceful protests work. Let me know in the comments. My friend kissed her teeth and said, we respect his contribution, but they killed him too. So burn it. Do a little research for me. 
just a little bit of research before you comment on what I just said do a little research do a research on Tulsa 1921 if you don't feel like doing some research right now I'm gonna tell you in 1921 white people mobbed they marched on the street they burned buildings down on black wall street killed multiple black people just to oppress us they didn't want to see black people succeed that's the base of it research it before you come to us telling us about looting burning everything research that just research it just a little research you know a little history lesson i know that you want to complain about black people burning a country that we built. The same country you took us from where we were to build, to tend to you, you are complaining. Hmm. My other friend said, you took us from Africa just to oppress, humiliate, and murder, and abuse us for centuries. Then tell us to leave a country that we built. Next, we have a message from Jay. And this was so beautiful to me. Um, I, don't, I don't know if anyone is going to feel that impact that I felt. But this was a short, sweet message. And it was said with such honesty and care. Um, she said, I feel so naive and undereducated that I didn't realize how bad it all still was. I'm doing my best to educate myself. I'm reading everything I can, ordering books, sharing petitions, speaking up, telling others. But honestly, I feel so useless. I'm also seeing so many white people who still don't seem to get it that I'm actually starting to resent my own race. And if you can see the beauty in that message, I'm mostly focusing on the fact that she is educating herself. And this is why I keep saying educate yourself before you speak up on a situation you know nothing about. I'm glad she's taking her time to educate herself. She's reading books, she's sharing petitions, um, she's listening to other black voices. Um, um, don't feel useless. Um, as I told her, I replied to this comment, do not feel useless. The fact that you are taking time out of your day to sit and learn is amazing and is beautiful. And it shows that there are some beautiful human beings in this world that hate things as much as we do. Um, so thank you so much, Jay, for sharing that message. No, we have a black beauty. Her name is Princess. And she said, I am a black woman too. And in addition to the George Floyd situation, there have been cases of police killing innocents in my country, Nigeria, which is shocking to me as we are all of the same race. Also, cases of rape with particular reference to a young girl who was raped and smacked to death with a fire extinguisher in a church she went to study. It's depressing to say the least, and it moved me to also make a video expressing my discontent in spoken word form, since that's what I do on my channel. I'd love to see the video when you are done. Um, I am going to link her spoken word um, videos, her channel in the iCard and in the description box. Um, whoa. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Please remember that it exists in black majority countries racism still unfortunately exists um there's a lot of black on black racism and a lot of people think that black people cannot be racist but i know a lot of black people that are racist to their own kind um um is, is ridiculous and to other people rape thing <laughs> i have to look more into that but that is disgusting to say the least, that is disgusting. We live in a disgusting world. And I never thought that I'd still be saying that at my age. But we really live in a disgusting world. 
it's amazing to see so many people standing up and realizing that there is an issue um i am going to end this off with two messages from two of my male friends um very short but i feel like it's best to end this with black males because they are mostly targeted um my friend said he is waiting for black people to get pissed off even more because they aren't hearing and start to hmm, this is reading the way start to start shooting at the police um i don't agree with this but you can hear the anger in what he just said um, people are tired it's been years it has been years and we are all tired um, and he also go, went on to say people who think looting is wrong because it's destroying people's businesses amaze me like killing lies and racism is okay okay like people wake up one day and just start looting no no these people do these things and then we get no results and we made our exclamation louder careful don't listen some more and see if bombs and guns don't come out next um i would hate for it to result in that and i would hate to know that the si the system is so messed up that it have to come to that where you could just solve the issue um but the way he was so angry i it was needed it was needed um then one of my friends said um to me at the end of the day america is a white man's country so yeah they may protest and keep noise but a lot of things just won't go their way one looting and violence not helping two even if an effort is made at the end of the day racism won't end what do they want from the poor exactly for them to make it look like they are making an effort and then for things to go back to how it was to me it's an effort that yet yeah, we need but will it really make a difference and i'm gonna end on that note because as he just said america is a white man's country and that's the reality of this whole issue um I want to thank you guys for watching this video um thank you for sticking around if you made it this far thank you for all of the people who chimed in and gave their opinions their very very honest and brutal opinions on this whole situation that's happening right now um, in the world um again as i said in the beginning of this video i'm going to drop the links of everything that i mentioned in this video um, as it relates to helping and donating and also those accounts who are speaking out and giving their opinions on their own accounts that i feel like you need to listen to um that is it for the video i just feel like i needed to pause my content my normal content and post something about this thank you for listening and if you are supporting this movement and understanding i just want to say thank you